Hey guys, how are you all doing today? And today we're watching Spiral, the new trailer to Spiral. And I did watch the first trailer to Spiral, and I remember, you know, thinking it was interesting. And this is a sequel slash continuation in the same universe as the Saw films. And the Saw films is what I watched on my channel, the first series I watched on my channel. And my first, you know, thoughts before even watching those films were, hey, this is going to be crazy, in-your-face, torture porn, but it was far from that, in my opinion. Most of these movies had great storytelling, and it was very psychological, and it relied more on the narrative rather than the, the gore, but obviously the gore was a big part of it too. The traps were pretty gnarly, but I have great memories watching those movies with you guys back in, you know, last year. It's kind of crazy. It was like six months ago when I was watching them, and Time does indeed fly, and if you have subscribed because of those movies, I do appreciate it. When this one comes out, I will do a reaction to it down the line. I 100% guarantee it. But yes, Chris Rock, <laughs> Samuel Jackson are in this movie. Um, not guys would expect to be in a Saw-esque movie, but hey, let's fucking do this, boys and girls. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. A box. The package just came in. There he is. Chris Rock. Get everybody out of here. It's like a bomb. What is it? Twisted pictures. Play me. Ah, USB. Hello, Detective Banks. Do you know where your officers are? Voice is very different. Shit. Jigsaw? Wait, I thought the Jigsaw killer was dead. <laughs> we all thought that. Find him. They have hours, not days. How can I catch this guy? If there's nobody on the force, I can trust! You can't do this alone. Whoever did this has another motive, something personal. When was the last time you saw your father? Ah, he's your dad. <laughs> Jigsaw copycat. This is gonna go sideways fast. <laughs> All available units, officer down. That was just a diversion to get us out of the precinct. I need everyone on this case. <laughs> he could be anywhere. He could be anyone. We're going to tear this city apart. I'm a little spin like a spiral. Ah. <laughs> That's a new jigsaw Hello, doll. Detective Banks. When was the last time you saw your father? Hmm. Interesting. Um, it had a new voice. You know, it isn't the classic, um, wanna play game. Oh, he, I, it's a terrible impression, I know. But yeah, that was so much in that trailer, it just. I need to just digest it. So, I like the the idea of this could be anyone on the force. Obviously, we had Hoffman, who was a cop in himself, who was a Jigsaw apprentice. This is a Jigsaw copycat, obviously. There's no John Kramer, all that. Sh all, all the stuff that we love from those seven movies, I think that's, or eight movies, I guess, is now, like, it's like a different section of the of the universe. It's 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 not really, it's not close in terms of the timeline. This is a new timeline. Um, I assume this is like 10 years later. I don't know. I don't know how many years this is after the events of Jigsaw. But we did see a picture of Tobin Bell, John Kramer. And, um, you know, I'm sure you'll be mentioned a couple times. But, you know, what I loved the most about the seven movies were it always felt connected in terms of the story and the characters. Jigsaw and especially this one, it feels very distant. 
And I guess it makes sense because what else can they ultimately do with this, with those characters? So they made some new ones. And Chris Rock in this is the main guy. It's very unconventional, especially in a horror movie. In a comedy, yes, it's perfect. But in a horror movie, as a cop, a serious one, we're going to have to see some, we have to see like a new side of him and see what we can do here. And every time he screamed or whatever, it just seemed a bit, you know, funny. I just found it funny. All, I was I was expecting Adam Sandler to show up next, you know. <laughs> Maybe that is the jigsaw in this movie. It's Adam Sandler. Maybe he's angry at him because he didn't do Grown Ups 3 of him yet. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but Samuel L. Jackson is the father of Chris Rock uh, in this movie. And, you know, it's an interesting dynamic. And uh, it looks like he has a big role in this movie. And he... It seems like Samuel Jackson's character was around that time where Jigsaw was all over the place. And I can see him saying that in this movie, saying, you know, I was around where, you know, we had Hoffman and you had Eric Matthews and all that. I can see him saying that. And um, in terms of who it could be, this does seem like a new generation, new era of um, Jigsaw. You got a new doll. I didn't really see what the doll really looked like that much, but it, it, was, it was a lot smaller and it looked a lot different to the Billy the Puppet. I think that's the name, Billy. And, um, yeah, and the voice of Jigsaw became very apparent. That, that told me straight away that this is a totally different era of Jigsaw because it's someone someone different. It's going to be a copycat Jigsaw. And um, maybe it's his dad. That's my first um, prediction. It's his dad. <laughs> but, yeah. There's, a, there's one problem I have with this, and it's not really this film's fault. It could be, but it, this being called The Book of Saw tells me everything I need to know as well. This is not a direct sequel to those previous eight movies. But with the seventh one, and even the eighth one, I feel like we got loose ends with the character of Gordon and the character of, um, I forgot the guy's name, the, the, the surgeon guy who... He becomes his apprentice. He was one of his longest apprentices of all time in Jigsaw. I forgot his name. But him and Gordon, we don't really see what happens to them. I doubt they will appear in this movie. I doubt that a lot. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious because this reminds me a lot of Halloween 2018 in a sense that you, had a, you, had a, you have a comedian who wants to, he was a big fan of the series and he wants to start a new you know, a new trend of these movies. And Danny McBride did the same thing for Halloween. He wrote it. He didn't star in it. Thank God for that. <laughs> but um, Chris Rock was, you know, he's he's a big fan of the series and he wants to continue it. And I'm I'm looking to be surprised here. And looking at the, f looking at the trailer, the tone is very different from the previous movies, in my opinion. I, it seems a lot more, I don't know how I can phrase it, a lot more lighter in terms of the tone and, it's not as compare the first movie and this one. It's night and day differences. Even with the seventh one or the sixth one, there there is differences in the in the tone. But yeah, the director of this is Daryl and Bowsman, and I researched who he was before this video, and he did direct Saw two, three, and four. So he is very familiar with the series. So I have faith in him. And you have a really good cast. You have the guy from the internship as well, the dick, the dickhead. And I'm sure he's going to die in this movie too. And I'm I'm pretty sure that this Jigsaw is copycat is going to be someone on the force because Chris Rock did mention that because he can't trust anyone. And um, it's a very simple formula. Everyone is suspect. But yeah, that is my reaction to the trailer of Spiral. It's coming out in May, I believe. And I'm definitely going to check it out and see what happens, you know. And, my expectations are, it's not going to be as, um, I don't think it's going to be as good as the as the as most of the other ones, because it seems completely different in terms of the tone and what they're going for. Obviously, you have the copycat jigsaw, and you have the puppet, and you have, you know, the similar tropes or, you know, similar aspects, but it's not going to be the same thing in terms of the look of it and the, and the execution. That's my opinion. And, but I'm going to try be you know fair on it and look at it as something different and um yeah i was told a little birdie told me that the the trailer to halloween kills is coming out too and i am definitely gonna check that out i can't wait for that halloween is my favorite horror franchise and i am gonna be so excited to check out the trailer to that movie it's gonna come out this friday i believe 
It could have been a fake post, but I have faith. To quote Bruce Wayne from Justice League, have faith, Alfred, have faith. But that was my reaction to Spiral, the trailer. I think it's the second trailer. And um, yeah, stay tuned for my reaction to Spiral, the full-length movie reaction or whatever when it comes out. And um, I appreciate the support, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.